lucky at the time was the fifth biggest carp in the country, you know, which I didn't know at the time. I only found it out a few years ago. I hated Tom Mintram from that day because he took my big dream away from me. 38 mile of shoreline, biggest lake I've ever fished, without a doubt. I've rung angling times up and I said to him, I'll go to Centre Lake Cassian to catch a record carp, because I thought I could, but I, I need money. I need you to sponsor me. And so they did. And so as I've leant over, this thing's coming up and it freaked the life out of me. His, his mouth was huge. We're going out to see a new lake tomorrow. I can't tell you what it is. Because <laughs> some people might say we don't want him on now. But give us a chance, boys. I'm only just coming back. I'm like a new boy now. Well, Rich, it's yeah. great to be back. Yeah, nice to see you again. And you. And uh, it's I understand very, the last lot went very well. It went very well. I'm pleased about that. It's very rare that we'd ever do a revisit. But obviously, like we said last time, 50 years of fishing doesn't condense into one part very no. easily, does it? So um, what I'd like to do is start this one at the beginning of your big fish angling, which I think is Ashley, is that right? That's right, yeah. Tell us a little bit about what, where Ashley Pool was in, in terms of significance. Yeah, Ashley, of Ashley Pool's in Gloucestershire. Um, the first, uh, I think I applied, you had to be a British Carp Study Group member for a start. Now, when we were first invited into the, the, the group by Chris Ball, uh, me and the old man, which is known as Johnny Walker, uh, didn't want to be in it because we found that we were doing all right on the water we were fishing, which was cut mill, we were doing all right. We didn't really want to get involved with groups and stuff like that. And we didn't understand what it was all about. And so basically we did join eventually uh, when we went to a meeting up in London. I saw Jack Hilton, Bill Quill and all the big boys at, at the time, me being a young a young'un. And so we joined and uh, a few years later, uh, 1975, I think it was, I applied to Peter Moen if I could join the Ashley Syndicate. He said, if I get a vacancy next year. It was through Bob Burchett uh, that I decided to join it because he said there was some big fish in there. And uh, so I joined in 1976. Uh, before I go into the fishing side of it, 1976 was a year of drought. And uh, Vic Gillins, who, who was a member as well, who I knew from Cut Mill Day, so we were friends and we'd often go up together if he had to, could get the same time off as me. And um, <coughs> our first season there, this guy uh, worked for Bush Bogan Allen, I can't think of his name at the moment, and he came down to the lake with a list of flavours. And uh, most of the flavours were like pound fifty, something like that. But there was one, one particular flavour, which was a salmon oil which is now known as puck of salmon, but that was nine quid. And that stayed on my shelf from 1976 till 1981, because it smelled like beetroot before, well, that's no good. So we'll get back to the, to the fishing now. So basically, uh, we joined this in 76, it, it was a year of drought, it, the fishing was absolute rubbish, I don't even why bother going up there. And in the closed season, they started to, to dig a, a round to make the lake a little bit bigger. So I decided if the new fish will in, uh, investigate new spots of any species, they're all investigated in the area. So I remember Tim Paisley writing an article about me saying if anyone's prepared to go all the way from Richmond to Gloucestershire to pay up, he deserves whatever he gets or something on that line. So I'd gone up uh, twice a week when I could and, and just put this uh, strawberry protein bait in in its new area and uh, of course I had that area that first night and uh, fortunate enough to catch Lucky at 32.12 and then the next day um, uh, another mirror, uh, I call it single scale because there was a scale missing off it and uh, that was £20.08 and that then started me on the, on the road to stardom if you like, not by my choosing, by Peter Moen's choosing because uh, we're never, I never advertised any fish at all before then and then Peter Moen asked me if I would put it in the paper, and I said, well, I don't really want to. He said, well, uh, you know, you're a syndicate member, you've got to apply for you. So basically that's what happened, and that's how, I, after that, I got invited to other places and started catching bigger fish.